Updated February 22, 2019 21 hours 53 minutes and 55 seconds Australia's ambassador to the US, Joe Hockey, has dismissed allegations about his dealings with travel company Hello World as absolute nonsense. Key Points Mr. Hockey said the circumstances of his meeting with a Hello World executive were misrepresented, his dealings with the company are under scrutiny after the company's chief executive was quoted as saying, Hockey owes me, in an email MR Hockey is a major shareholder in the business, but says he declared this before the meeting Mr. Hockey met with former Hello World executive Russell Karstensen and other embassy staff in Washington, D.C. In 2017, Mr. Karstensen told a Senate Estimates hearing on Thursday that the company's chief executive Andrew Burns arranged the meeting, saying, Hockey owes me, the allegation that I somehow owe, Mr. Burns is absolute nonsense, Mr. Hockey said in a statement, the meeting was a general discussion about current arrangements for the delivery of travel services in the United States and Australia. There were no commercial opportunities with the embassy offered or available, Mr. Hockey is a major shareholder in Hello World and a close friend of Mr. Burns, who is also the Liberal Party's federal treasurer. Mr. Hockey said both interests were declared prior to the meeting, the circumstances of which he said had been misrepresented, I decided to join the meeting, since Hello World, QBT was, and still is, the existing approved supplier of travel to DFAT, the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade, he said, it is normal practice for ambassadors to meet with official suppliers of services to their department, Mr. Hockey said he had since excused himself from all discussions and decisions relating to the procurement of travel services. Hello World in the spotlight MR Burns also released a statement on Thursday denying he organized the meeting between Mr. Hockey and Mr. Karstensen. Further, Mr. Hockey and I did not discuss the meeting in Washington at any time after it took place, he said. DFAT employees were present at all times in that meeting and the meeting was disclosed by Mr. Karstensen to DOFA, the Department of Finance and Administration, at the time, as was appropriate and necessary under the contractual arrangements with DOFA, I emphatically deny ever having told Mr. Karstensen that Mr. Hockey owes me, or any words to that effect. Joe Hockey and I have been close friends for 20 years and it would be ridiculous to suggest I would say or imply he owes me anything, questions about Mr. Hockey's Links to Hello World were raised after it was revealed the company had failed to process a payment from Finance Minister Matthias Corman for family flights to Singapore in 2018. The company blamed an administrative error for not processing the $2,700 payment on Senator Corman's credit card, a bill which he has since settled. Topics, Government and Politics, Australia first posted February 22, 2019, 20 hours 43 minutes and 20 seconds.